Welcome to Words on the Outside with Laura Bynum. Today's author is Tom Engelberger, children's author, origamist, and Star Wars true believer. Besides the galaxy far, far away, Tom cites writers Daniel Pinkwater, Charles Dickens, and Steve Schenken among his inspirations. Some time back, Tom was approached by Lucasfilm to write his version of a Star Wars movie, and as luck would have it, they were both thinking Return of the Jedi. Tom composed the literary version of this story with not only enormous amounts of fun, but also with painstaking detail and faithfulness to George Lucas's original vision from 1983. Enjoy Tom Engelberger reading from his version of Star Wars Episode VI, entitled Return of the Jedi, Beware the Power of the Dark Side. The whole fate of the galaxy rests on can Han Solo and his team blow up the shields in time for Lando and his team to zip in with their spaceships and blow up the Death Star. Everything has gone wrong. Han has realized now that he's walked into a giant trap. We've got troopers, biker scouts, big at-ats. That's what we're up against now. But there's one thing that the emperor didn't count on, and he knew, he must have known there were Ewoks on the planet, but he underestimated them. And so that's where we join our story now. The Ewoks are looking down on all of it from the treetops. They're looking down at more soldiers and war machines than they've ever seen or imagined. It would be so easy just to sit quietly in the branches and not get into this fight against a great horde of evil. But don't make the same mistake the emperor did. Don't underestimate them. High in a tree, an Ewok blows a long, ominous note on a hollow horn. And from near and far come answering calls. From the trees all around the edges of the clearing, Ewoks shoot arrows and drop rocks onto the crowd of troopers below. The arrows are relatively ineffective, except when they strike an unarmored officer. But the rocks, dropped from such a height, are enough to knock a stormtrooper out of commission for a while. There will be time to finish them off later, figure the Ewoks. And who knows, they may be tasty. Even when the troopers realize where the rocks are coming from, they can only fire aimlessly into the leaves. When more Ewoks pop up behind a ridge to fire arrows, the troopers find easier targets. Several Ewoks fall, but most retreat back into the undergrowth. The troopers charge. The biker scouts hit their accelerators, and four ATSTs stomp after the Ewoks. But what they don't realize is that once they leave their little man-made clearing by the bunker, they are entering the Ewoks forest. And right now, that forest is one big trap. Troopers find themselves caught in nets or tumbling into pits before they can get a clean shot at the furry creatures scampering through the brush. Biker scouts run into vines stretched behind trees or lose control after getting clonked on the head by a bolo. One stormtrooper meets a nasty fate when a vine is looped over his front stabilizers, wrenching him into the nearest trees. Even the ATSTs run into trouble. One ATST commander spots some Ewoks trying to set up some kind of catapult. While his gunner blasts away at the device, the commander twists the controls to send the great metal walker rushing to the spot. The catapult is destroyed, but seconds later, so is the ATST, as two logs swing down from the trees and crush the cockpit betwixt them. And where there are no traps set, the Ewoks get by on instinct, biting, clawing, swarming, climbing, hiding, and then lunging out to do it all again. Alas, many are dying, but few fall who have not first struck some blow against the monsters in their forest. And every Imperial that so much as stumbles finds himself covered in angry Ewoks, each one looking for that spot to slip a knife through the armor. Mere Chihuahua, screams Tebow, plunging his blade into, well, let's not say exactly where, but as he raises his blood-drenched fist into the air in triumph, the rest of his tribe answers, Mere Chihuahua, and the other tribes take up the call too, and the forest rings with their fury. Mere Chihuahua. Mere Chihuahua.